are doing an arm workout. We will be working your biceps, your triceps, and your shoulders. There are only eight exercises today because it's quite the burner. You'll stay on one exercise doing 30 seconds. You'll rest 15 seconds and repeat it three times. You'll probably want anywhere from a light to a heavy pair of dumbbells, and also you'll need a mat. So let's get going. All right, here we go. Your first exercise is going to be a kettlebell swing. So for this exercise, you can use one dumbbell, or if you do have a kettlebell, go ahead and grab that. You'll probably want medium to heavy. So the trick is here is the dumbbell is going to go through your legs, you're hinging at the hips, then use that momentum to swing it up, only come up to eye level. Good job, you should be all nice and warmed up. Let that heart rate come down and go ahead and grab a drink of water. You will want a pair of dumbbells for this next exercise, most likely medium to heavy. Holding the dumbbells to your side, keep those elbows in, curl all the way up to your shoulders, all the way back. If you notice your body swinging back and forth, either have a seat on something or lighten the weight.
Good, those got heavy quick. Go ahead and rest those arms. You will need one dumbbell for this next exercise. We're gonna work your triceps next. All right, holding one dumbbell, keep those elbows in. You almost want your hands to be right behind your head and your elbows pushing against your ears. You're gonna extend all the way down, all the way up, feel a nice stretch in your triceps. Core nice and tight. Good, shake out those arms because this next one is a burner. You will want a really light pair of weights for the next one. Make sure that you get that drink of water before we start on this shoulder exercise. Okay, like I said, really light weights here. You're gonna come up, palms facing out all the way overhead, then come down in front of your shoulders out like a T and down, repeating that over and over again.
I'm sure your arms are on fire right now. Let them rest and shake them out. You are halfway through your workout. We're going to move on to a core exercise, but you're probably still going to feel it in those shoulders. So go ahead and set those dumbbells off to the side and grab your mat. Starting in a high plank, you should be on your toes and on your hands. You are going to tap your opposite shoulder. Now the trick is here is that if you're picking up your right arm, push your left hip down towards the mat so you're not rocking back and forth. Good job, rest and grab a drink, shake out those arms. Let's move on to some triceps, so you will need your dumbbells. You may wanna go a little bit lighter than you normally would for this tricep workout because we will be alternating, so I want you to really focus on each arm. Bent over, if you do not work out in front of a mirror, you may wanna take a look at yourself and make sure that your back is nice and flat. We're gonna keep one elbow at a time up high, extend all the way back like you're pretending to hit something behind you with the dumbbell.
All right, we are done with those arms. We are going to move on to two more exercises here. They will both be core. So first we are just going to do one exercise three times. Your legs are going to be straight out in front of you. You're gonna sit all the way up, touch the opposite toe, then come all the way back down. Now, if you cannot come all the way up, come as high as you can, or you can hold some weights in your hands, and that will help you to pull yourself all the way up. You are just about there. I know your core is on fire, but we've got one more core exercise for you here. So stay on that mat. No equipment is needed. Feet are straight up in the air. You're going to pretend like there is a string attached to the ceiling to your toes and you are just lifting your bottom up. It should not be a big movement, it's a small movement. Bend your knees if you need to.
below and subscribe for more workouts.